Hi, welcome back to What's About a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we'll be doing an unboxing of Sniper Kill Confirmed from Compass Games. This is designed by J. Kirkpatrick. This is a solo game. It says right there, solitaire game. What we like to call single player only. It's designed for a single player, although I think this one might play one to two. Uh, nope, this, is, this one's just a solo play, so that's good. So SPO, single player only, um, which means, you know, you can true solo this with just one hand, one character, whatever, and that's that's what you would do. So anyway, this is a, uh, a modern combat type game where you're a sniper and your observer um, trying to carry out missions. So, so let's crack it open and see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Oh, Don't forget to subscribe oh, and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now here we go. Nice thick box. There we go. And what do we got here? So the first thing we get is a sequence of play reference, how to play. And then your sequence of play card. It's on the glossy or semi-glossy card stock. It's not too shiny. You can't see the lights too bad on here. Like you can see here on the box. So that shows you how matte this is. And then we've got a single thin campaign log sheet, you know, just a single piece of paper, so you can photocopy this. And I assume uh, this is available on their website, on the Compass website, where you can download and print more. So you log your sniper's name, your spotter. Um, I said your observer, but spire missions completed, and a list of your 10 missions, and so on and so forth. So uh, I think each mission plays pretty quick, um, about a half hour, an hour or so, and you string them together. All right, we have a pack of dice. We've got three six-sided white and a black ten-sided die. And they do work, and we got ten versus five. I have no idea if that's how you do it, but that's what you get. get two decks of cards, so we'll open those in a little bit. Got a very small rule book. A little tussled in shipping, but other than that, it's pretty good. It's kind of a magazine stock. You can see that's a little shinier. Uh, it's not a card stock, it's more of a paper, like a magazine, I said. And it runs at about, let's go about 12, 16 pages, let's see, 16, 16 pages. Large print, as you can see, it's very, very large print, so it'll be easy to read. Uh, you got different maps, jungle, ruined city, countryside, and desert. And Sniper Kill Confirmed is a solitaire war game where you take the role of a sniper and a spotter. The goal of the game is to work your way through each zone trying to reach your target. You will need to score morale points to be able to move into new zones. This is achieved by KIA of enemy hostiles. All the while trying not to draw too much attention to yourself. Good luck, soldier. You will need it, stealth, and honor. All right. So, full color, as you can see. Tells you about the counters, the map, the different location cards. So we'll go through those decks here shortly. Tactical cards, things you can use, Binox, Ghillie Suit, Iron Lung, Scope, Mission Sequence of Play. It's pretty straightforward. And so you get through to about page nine as the rules and then you have the optional rules. And then it looks like we have a, maybe a, a turn cycle. Example of play starting on page 11. So really it's about nine pages of rules. Eight. We don't count the covers and the intros. So it doesn't look too complex. And on the back is a quick reference chart. All right. And on the next thing up is a quick reference chart. So this is the same thing that's on the back of the back of the book. A little more detail. It's got the important concept section here, as you can see. And it's single sided, so, and this is a very sturdy cardstock. Very nice. Then we've got our uh, location boards. 
These are, oh, these are only single sided. I thought these would be double sided, but they are single sided and they are very sturdy. They are very thick mounted cardboard. Very nice. So this is, well, let's, let's take this back. This may be our um, tracking, our major board, and these are the location boards. So these may be double sided, so I spoke too soon. So this is the, let's see what they call it. Yeah, this is not one of the map boards. This is your sniper mat. So this is the sniper mat. This is where you'll track what zones you're going through, what weapons you have, the range, wind rolls, if your spotter's living or has been taken out, and the enemy reserve track. So this would be single-sided because you're always going to use this in the game. Very nice artwork. Very well made. Like I said, very thick. So then we've got our terrain maps, and these are single-sided as well. So here's our desert map. Got the uh, zones here. So a desert has six zones. To advance, you need 15 morale points and 30, even 45. So you have to build up your morale and the, your morale at the start is tracked here. And so we've got four of these. It would appear, at least here, so we've got the jungle versus the desert. They appear to be the same. They're just, they've just got thematically different pictures because there's still six zones and the same morale tracks between the two. So it's a nice touch that they threw these in, you know, with a different, uh, let's see if the others are any different. So that was jungle, desert, ruined city. Again, appears to be the same. So it's just a little window dressing, a nice little touch that they threw that in there. So you feel like you're going through a ruined city as you're dealing with this mission. And finally, the countryside. Again, same thing. The only difference is the background image. It might have been nice if there was a little difference, maybe. You know, if each, if each range presented its own challenges. But again, I haven't played the game, so maybe that comes across in the cards. We'll see. And then we've got one set of tokens. As you can see, most of them are not even there. Uh, they're all blank, which is nice. You can use them for your own editions. That there's some user-created content, or use them for other games. They punch. They're going to fall out pretty easily. They are not pre-rounded. They're the kind you're going to have to probably use an exacto, but that just fell right on out. Pretty easy. And in fact, you can pop them right off. And they have corner nibs. So if you want to use the Organ Laminations 2.5 millimeter corner rounder, deluxe, right tool for the job. But if not, they don't look to be too bad. So let's take a look at some of the counters here. Put that back in. Leave our blank. So to get an idea. We've got uh, your sniper counters, wounded markers, critical. Interested to see what those die roll counters are for. On the back, they're the same. We've got enemy snipers. We've got different patrols, hostiles, various weapons. Uh, enemy reserve tracker, your morale points tracker. Oop, and they're just like coming out, just falling apart. That's, that's pretty nice that they just, you know, are pretty self punching there. They seem to be mostly the same information on both sides, too. Not a lot of, you know, hidden reveal information. So these are, these are pretty much categorized just as markers more than they are counters per se. So you got an M40A3, M40A5, M40A6, M82s, M107, semi-autopedic pistol, combat knife. And they repeat on this side here. So you almost got... Essentially you've got uh, two sets of the same counters. This is the same as this. So uh, you basically just get two sets of counters. So you can have two missions going at the same time if you wanted to. If the cards work out that way, so I'm going to take these here and stack them because, like you saw, they're just coming apart, which is kind of nice and convenient. So let's take a look at the card decks. All right, so we've got two decks. There are two packages of cards. We'll see how they divide up into different decks. They're very thick. They're a very nice quality card. They seem to be standard poker-sized cards. 
Um, so these, so I've got some here that are target VIPs. Take a look at those. We've got a VIP, the medium range target, the stationary, gain four kill points. You got this target. These are not all of them, it's just what's in this one deck here. So you got your, your targets here. And we've got some tactical cards. Pull those out. This will seem to be gear that you can use. All right, nope. These are tactical. Oh, yeah, a ghillie suit. Ignore the first hit. Binoculars, you automatically spot the, uh, the uh, enemy. Uh, you got minus one to any wind with scope. And you get the iron lung, which gives you a plus three die roll modifier. So those are some tactical cards. And then our location cards, which further define the location on the uh, on the map. So we got a bunch of location cards, it seems. So I'll pull those out. Look at a few. Uh, jungle location plus one cover. Uh, that's another jungle location, just different graphics to make it you know give it a little more theme. Plus one cover, you got another plus two cover, jungle area. Now you got a claymore mixed in there. Let's the claymore. So that's jungle in the ruined city. You know, this one has no cover, this one no cover, plus one cover, plus two cover. So it's just gonna randomize things. You got open ground that has no cover. And then a farmhouse gives you gives you some cover. Claymore, plus two cover. So there's just a variety. Compounds give you more or less cover. It's plus two, plus one. And then there's a claymore mixed in there. So those are some location cards. And then we got some hostels. Got an enemy sniper. A med kit. Oh, uh, well, let's see what we got here. We got hostels and we got that. So we got somehow these got mixed in here. So we got hostels. We had a random action card thrown in there. So hostels. So hostels, enemy sniper. Three hostiles, four hostiles, four hostiles, enemy reserves. I think we're gonna have more hostile cards probably show up as well as some action cards. So yeah, in the second pack of cards, we've got more hostiles. Hopefully there's no action cards mixed in there. I am just fumbling all my shots here. I am going to get killed. So more hostiles. Hostile, hostile, hostile. Two hostiles, three hostiles. So when you go on your mission, you can stay in a hostel and then go kill hostels. So that's pretty smart activity to do. So then action cards, were, I guess the ones you're gonna play, because there's a lot of those. Take a look at a few here. Here's a fire, allows the player to fire at an enemy hostel. Allows it for the player to conduct, to conduct two fire actions. So you got fire cards, you got move cards, you can move to the next zone if you have the morale points you need. Crawl, you can move to the next zone and do not check to see if the enemy patrol tracks you. Suppress, played to push enemy hostile back by one box of range. Hidden, allows the player to avoid being spotted. So on and so forth, so blank. Blank cards can be used to, you can use two blank cards, they're kind of like wild cards, to be an equipment card or a movement card or a fire card. So it kind of lets you mitigate a bad hand by getting some of these blank cards, so. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So the only difference on the decks is, you know, the word noted at the top, just so you know. So the packs are all the same. Anyway, should you pick up a copy of Sniper Kill Confirmed by Compass Games, you are gonna get two packages of cards that contain hostels, locations, actions, tactical cards, and your target VIPs. And then you're going to get a sheet of pretty much self-punching counters. Let's get these out of the way for now. One sheet of counters, two sets of counters in one sheet. So that's what you're getting. You're getting four map boards to track your missions. Single-sided, very thick good quality. You're going to get huh. you're going to get your sniper tracker board, basically your HUD. You're gonna get a quick reference chart on sturdy card stock. Let's go ahead and get that other one. You're gonna get the how to play, sequence of play, double-sided chart. You're gonna get the 16 page rule book. One copy of the campaign log sheet. Again, those decks of cards. 
and four dice. And that is everything that comes in. Sniper Kill Confirmed by Compass Games, designed by J. Kirkpatrick. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!